Robotics. Described in the dictionary to be the branch of technology that deals with design, construction, operation, and application of robots is taking over our world. In this video, we are going to give you a simple understanding of how robotics works and why our past and future can rely on this type of technology. The general components at play in any technological device can be separated into two parts, hardware and software. The hardware of a device can be compared to the human body and the software can be compared to the mind. The hardware component is the physical framework of your device, such as the external and internal structures. For instance, if we take your phone, the hardware would be the metal casing and the SIM card. Now, software, on the other hand, is more complex. It involves all the written code or digital characters that tell your device what to do. Considering this, a robot can almost purely be classified by the software behind it. The hardware is simply an instrument which allows this software to translate and execute instructions through the use of movement and force. The concepts of robots as software fits with a more general understanding of an automated instrument that can complete set tasks with little to no human intervention with accuracy and speed. It is important to think of robots in this way for various industries because it allows for the division of labour between engineers and programmers. It might help to think of this in more relatable terms. I'm sure, given the pandemic, we are far too familiar with apps like Zoom or Microsoft Teams, so let's use them to illustrate my point. Say I have a friend, let's call him Brian. We get along very well and have similar interests. Now, let's take two scenarios of how I communicate with Brian. In scenario one, I talk to Brian in person, and in scenario two, we talk in a Zoom meeting. In these two scenarios, we can technically say that there is a discrepancy in the hardware of Brian, but not in the software. In the first scenario, Brian's hardware is his physical body, and in the other, he is bound to my screen. Is he technically part of the hardware or software now? If you said hardware, that is correct, as his physical hardware is the computer screen. However, in both, Brian is still my friend. He is the same person as his software has not changed. This is because Brian is defined by his mind and his thoughts, and the functionality of his mind will not change based on his physical features. The same ideology applies with robotics. From artificial intelligence being incorporated into algorithmic automated trading systems within hedge funds, to computerized tomography systems helping scientists analyze fossils without the risk of damage, robots can help us look both into the past and the future. The advancements of robotics and technology also gives rise to the code market, an exponentially growing marketplace that allows for the selling and purchasing of code, which can then be later implemented into hardware. This new digitized market allows people from all ages to start coding and making money. Our aims over the coming lessons in this course are to give you a deeper understanding of robotics, allowing you to take your first step into participating in code markets like these, and to show you how even though robotics can be complex at times, it is not at all daunting, and even students like you can make a change. With such a rapidly evolving field, it is certain many new engineers will be needed to help advance the uses of robotics. And who knows, it might just be you.